Hey everybody, I'm VJ Mine, aka the Terrible Australian at Supermarcy.com, and welcome to my video review of Vacation, which is the uh, the latest uh, edition in the Vacation series. Uh, so let's get right into it. Now I should state off right at the beginning. Um, I'm not really much of a fan of the Vacation films, unfortunately. However, that being said, though, uh, Christmas Vacation is absolutely fantastic and definitely one of the best comedies ever made. But the other films in the series, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation, uh, European Vacation, and Vegas Vacation, I wasn't a fan of those. And t to be honest, y European Vacation was terrible, uh, Vegas Vacation was average, and the first Vacation film I thought was okay. I just didn't find it particularly memorable or that funny as a comedy. And I know a lot of people love that movie, and I'm not going to take that away from anyone because, you know, but it, the film just didn't really work for me, unfortunately. And I guess in a way, because I saw it much later in life and I didn't sort of grow up with it. So I didn't, don't really have that sort of nostalgic love for it that um, a lot of people do. But, you know, but that being said though, you know, uh, I, I've loved Christmas Vacation. That was just a great sequel and a great comedy. And um, although I was very cute, now they sort of decided to, uh, you know, bring the series back in this kind of, in this new, in the new film, just titled Vacation, uh, which makes sense because the first film was called Natural Lampoon's Vacation, so, uh, Vacation, this one, this new va Vacation film, it kind of works in two ways because, in a way, it's kind of a remake in some regard, and it's also kind of a reboot because it is, you know, restarting the franchise, but it's also a sequel as well because in the first film, it's sort of, um, the very first Vacation film, it kind of, that film sort of set it around, uh, Chevy Chase's character. Um, now, in this new version, uh, Ed Helms plays the son of that character, and he is the sides, and this is where kind of it sort of rehashes the sort of, uh, the original in some way, because he decides, like in the, the first vacation film, decides to take his family on a vacation to Wally World, and that's kind of where the film kind of ends in its, in its own way, because along the way they sort of have their own, they're very both different films, or like what happens to them on the journey to Wally World, and um, although there are some little nods here and there, and I did find this one moment at the beginning where they kind of do this really meta moments talking about like the kids have never even heard of the original vacation and Ed Holmes basically says well all you need to know is and I'm paraphrasing by the way like that was really good but this vacation that we're about to go on is going to is going to stand on its own as its own thing and I, I do give the film credit for doing that but unfortunately though I thought this film was quite bad, to be honest, and I've, even though it has one or two kind of funny moments in it, and also, uh, probably, in my opinion, the, the best thing about this film, of course, uh, is being, you know, Chris Hemsworth, Australian actor Chris Hemsworth's, uh, sort of role in the film, I just didn't find this film good at all, and it's, it was just a really bad comedy, and a lot of the humour, like, you can tell watching this and also the original, and I don't, I, I'm going to try not, I, you know, I hate to compare the two films, but you can sort of tell watching both films side by side just how they sort of approach humour differently, and with this new one, it, it kind of goes for the sort of very lowbrow type of humour and all that. And I don't mind that, as long as it's done in a way that's both actually, you know, funny and witty and quite clever. But a lot of the jokes are just very easy and lazy, and it doesn't do anything that's funny. Like, I just felt like a lot of the humour in this film just fell flat, and it, I just felt embarrassed for a lot of the cast members, because they're doing things that are so cringeworthy that, that I just felt bad for everyone involved. And, I mean, everyone in the cast kind of gives it their 110%, particularly Ed Helms in the lead, but unfortunately the, um, the script and the direction doesn't really work in their favours, and they... And, like, the, the script was... But it was written and directed by uh, John Francis Daly, who was best known for being on the TV show Freaks and Geeks, and as well as Jonathan Goldstein. Uh, unfortunately, I just felt that their script 
wasn't funny at all. It was just really poorly written. And their direction was... It was okay, but nothing... But a bit... Not as great as it could have been. Like, there are some potential... There were some scenes here and there that had potential... That showed their potential as filmmakers. But unfortunately, I just feel like their script just wasn't able to sort of uh, give them the push <laughs> to make it uh, an interesting film. And and also, I like I said... Yeah, I just think that's really what it is. It's just not a very funny film. And it's just... A lot of the jokes just really fall flat. And they just go for the easy kind of bad sort of lowbrow jokes that just aren't funny or creative at all. And I think if the film, maybe if they had a couple more rewrites, it probably, the film probably would have been a bit better, but unfortunately it just, it just doesn't work at all. And like I said, if there does have, if there are any good qualities to the film, and, and believe me, there are very few, uh, like I said earlier, it's Chris Hemsworth who play has a supporting role in the film. He definitely gives the, uh, the, the funniest performance in the film. And uh, definitely most of the highlights of the film actually involve his character. And you can tell watching him in this film that he is having a ball playing this role and and it's also and that he's enjoying, you know, playing something a character that's very silly and funny and it, and it also in some ways kind of plays up his persona as well. And he's definitely the best part of the film. Although I but like I said some of the supporting the cast do try and um but again, they the film just they aren't just give they aren't given much to work with. And also, I got to say this, and I found this quite annoying that uh, Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo, who were kind of the leads in the first four, four uh, vacation movies, they're in this film as well. But they're basically like extended cameos, and I just felt like they were just wasted. And particularly Beverly D'Angelo, who I think only has one line in the whole movie. So, and I just felt bad for. Both of them. I mean, it would have been cool to have seen more of them in the film, but yeah, they just just weren't given anything to do. So, so yeah. Overall, uh, Vacation is unfortunately kind of sucks as a comedy. Um, there, there, there's probably some people out there who will enjoy it, and and I've read some you know reviews from, from people who have enjoyed it for what it is, and that's fine. Like, that's the funny thing of the gr gr thing about comedy, like what. One person finds funny, somebody else is not going to find funny. And what that person doesn't find funny, another person is going to find funny. And in that regard, like, I mean, if you're interested in checking it out, I'd, I'd say wait till it comes out on DVD or Blu-ray. So, um, but for me personally, I just, just didn't think it was good at all. And it just was a pretty bad film. So, uh, if I had to give Vacation a rating, I would give it one and a half star. It was just... Just, just wasn't funny, and it just this is pretty poorly made as well. Although I did like the cameos that are sprinkled a bit around here and there during the course of the film. I, those would, I did find those enjoyable. So uh, if I, yep, that's the end of my video review of Vacation. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all later. See you everyone.